on a virgin voyages well basically it's 8 a.m in the morning sipping my coffee and about to make to write down all my plan so before i start training often when i'm away i just open my notes on my phone and i write my whole training session so on this occasion i started with some dynamic stretches as always so i stretch the body head to toe to warm up properly all the muscles so i can avoid any sort of injuries after that, these guys, they go calisthenics gym on the rooftop. I was so happy about that. I did some calisthenics. I focused more on the back. And uh, once I finished with the calisthenics, I went straight into the gym and carry on doing uh, some weight training. Honestly, they got, so every they got everything in the gym. I was so shocked. And then, of course, to finish off, uh, we're gonna do some uh, post-workout stretches where we're gonna stretch the body properly to avoid any sort of risk of injuries, to get the flexibility to a higher level, and of course, to maintain a lean muscle mass. And now it's breakfast time. They've got so much choice here, guys. Honestly, there's so much food. You don't even know where to pick and what to get. Uh, I was so happy. So uh, yeah, this was proper good one. All right, guys, it's breakfast time right now. Um, great session this morning. Um, met, met a fellow American right here, El El Elijah. Elijah, right? Yep. Is that right? That's right. Yeah, here we are. Let me put it this way. Maybe you can come this way. Sure, I can go yeah. over. So, great session this morning. Um, we uh, did some back. This yeah, back. we did back. Yeah, I'm actually, can't even remember because I'm so hungry. <laughs> I'm, uh, I lost my uh, I lost my words. We did some back. We did a really good warm up, and now obviously um, I bumped into Elijah last night. Mm -hmm. This guy was in a jacuzzi, like living life on a, on a hanging out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's like he stopped me, and then uh, yeah, we decided to do a, a session, a training session this morning. Uh, so uh, yeah, and now we about to uh, eat some breakfast. Uh, Please remind me, Washington, Washington, uh, Washington State. State. So I was confusing uh, Washington, Washington State with Washington DC. Obviously, I don't know much uh, about uh, yeah. both of them. So we're really close to Portland. So okay. Portland, Oregon. Yeah. And then yeah. right across the river, Vancouver. Nice. Oh, the only drive. Yeah, we get it here. Perfect. Thank you so much. Well, thank you. So oh, yeah, so Portland, right? Yeah. So right so outside. How far of Portland. they? How how far they from each other? Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Yeah. So right across the river. Easy then, yeah. Um, perfect, yeah. I never been to Washington before. States or DC, none of them. I done only New York, I done Miami, um, also Chicago and LA. Washington's like known for nature, so like there's tons of yeah. hikes, beautiful places. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the mountains are really great oh, too. Nice. I feel like I need to explore more about you know USA because oh, for sure there's so much to explore. Yeah, I only been once last year, which I had an incredible experience. Yeah. I think you guys are amazing. You're so welcoming, so friendly, so helpful. If you get lost and everything, so yeah. And then one thing I spotted in the US when I first visited. You guys have massive portions. Oh, uh, it's, it's too much. So it's yeah, compared to in Europe, and obviously, you ask for a, you know an espresso, it's like a tiny yeah. espresso, right? Yeah. In in US, it's like, like yeah. I said, like, oh, sorry, I asked for espresso. But yeah, this is an espresso. And it's like seven, like seven dollars. Yeah. Yeah. So it's more expensive. It's it, everything is like yeah. It makes 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 London look cheap to be honest. <laughs> Especially Miami and New, New York and LA, it was just great. That's how I feel coming yeah. over though. It's yeah. like uh, people are super nice and inviting. Yeah. And it's been a really well, good great experience. experience. And also the pancakes. We had the best pancakes. Yeah. We, US, the, the American pancakes are just ah, fluffy. Cream, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, guys, back to, back to uh, what we're going to have this morning for breakfast. Let me walk you through. Um, gone. Uh, so we went for a fully loaded, uh, both of us, uh, omelettes. Here we are. We're having some fruits, also some avocado on toast, and some granola yogurt, and some more fruits. And then we're topping up the breakfast with some orange juice, and what are you having? Pineapple juice. Pineapple juice. Yeah. Good. Thanks so much for working out with me. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah. 
Cheers. All right, time to eat, guys. Absolutely demolished everything. Let me give you a look. How are you feeling, man? Happy? Yeah. <laughs> look at that. Oh, gosh. Uh, I have really feel so good right now. Great breakfast. Um, great company, great chat. Great view. Great view. Today is... Um, All day at sea. A day at the sea, yeah. Today is a day at the sea, so we're probably just going to chill for the rest of the day at the deck and then we'll see what's next. Yeah, let's just go with the day. Stop by the pool for <clears throat> a couple of hours, um, and um, now we just um, came to get some lunch because it was so hot. And then, um, yeah, we kind of got hungry. And now during lunchtime, we're having a conversation about what we're going to do tomorrow in Bodrum because tomorrow we're actually arriving in Bodrum in the morning and uh, we're trying to figure out what to do. Cookie! Are you going to get A cookie! Right, it's dessert time. The food um, court here is massive. There's so much going on, so many restaurants. Basically, they have everything for everyone. You can just pick anything you want. Probably my favorite ones are the steak ones. Yeah, there is rice thing here. This is the first time we've had a dessert, actually. We are savers. They've actually been really good. But the desserts are pretty, pretty amazing. I think it's pretty good. That was delicious. Time to go back to the pool. Well, after so much food, feeling absolutely exhausted, so we headed back to the pool to chill. And as you can see, it's looking busy. The sun is shining, so warm outside, like such a great weather, not even one cloud on a uh, sky. So Ambush is always on my case because I don't use uh, sun protection and I always get burned. So here I am applying some sun protection. Next part of the day is getting closer to the golden hour, which that's perfect for photography. So I already went downstairs to get change. And as you can see, I'm wearing a nice linen suit with a vest underneath. This is one of my evening wear, so I'm going to wear for dinner. To be honest with you, we, <laughs> we did experience some crazy wind during my uh, shoot earlier. So now we're still waiting for the sunset, which the sun is just getting slowly, slowly down now but we don't have the exact color we need. We do some great shots upstairs, but the wind, as I said earlier, is insane. It was literally blowing my, my hair, my clothes away. Uh, so we're just thinking now to go downstairs to take some more shots in the area because they have some really nice uh, uh, surroundings there. And then we're gonna come back upstairs uh, for, the, for the sunset. So yeah, let's go. We're actually back to the room, alpha number two. I realized I need to take another shot for um, my real cover. So I just changed outfit quickly and we're going back out there to get a good light. As I said to you earlier, we don't have the quite good light of uh, sun going down. So hopefully now it's low enough and we get that powerful color to get the right, the right sunset shot. Let me show you this though. Just very linen, some nice uh, comfortable loafers. And then, uh, yeah, everything is linen. And some, of course, some uh, jewelry. Right, let's go. Well, 
I'll tell you what guys, that was a little bit stressful because I thought we were losing light and we were losing light. But however, at the end of the day, we got a shot, we got a shot for the cover. It's all good. Now I'm back in the, um, in the first half eight I've been wearing for the, for the first shoot, which is the linen uh, suit with some loafers, suede loafers, same jewelries, uh, same timepiece. And now we're gonna get on with the rest of the evening, which we're gonna have a Mexican tonight. Um, what's the place called, Dave? Algarve. Algarve. So it's gonna be a Mexican evening with some chiqui tequilas. And uh, what? Chiqui tequilas. Chiqui tequilas. And chiqui then, tequilas. obviously, um, tacos. We do love tacos. So yeah. Uh, right. What time is it? It's uh, seven. Wow, well, it's only half seven. Well, is that right? Or my watch is London time. It's half seven. So it's half seven. So we have plenty of time. The reservation is at nine, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah, so the reservation at nine o'clock. Uh, plenty of time. And then, ready? Mm -hmm. Cool, let's go. Favorite picture. Always feels my idea. Dave takes a picture of his one fan. The idea, the creative inspiration behind his pictures, comes from me. Believe it. That's what he's doing now. It's only a simple. <laughs> so we finally arrived at the famous Mexican restaurant, Pink Agave. Let's go. Oh. Great. Right. Shots, I'll take great. the sofa. Ladies always. Well, you take the sofa. Guys, nice. the food has arrived. We've been so looking forward to this fancy potatoes. Bon appetit. This is next level. Even had a bite. I just had two, two bites. I thought it's supposed to be spicy. It is as well. Maybe it's the peppers, but I don't have that. more peppers. Well, we ordered something with jalapenos. That was the guacamole. Wow. But she said it would be very spicy, but it wasn't. I think she was all about those. It's the steak is really nice. Good. Also, the spot sellers, so good. Right, I need to finish this meal. Yeah. Right,